Welcome to art! Hello doodle bugs! My name is Mary and this is a video about watercolor. I'm going to show you an arbitrary number of tips to help you with your watercolor painting for all of you beginners out there or professionals. If you're wanting to learn a little bit more about the actual nitty gritty technique of painting with watercolor, I made a video on that a long time ago that you can check out on my YouTube channel. But here I'm going to cover just some things, some tips, experiment, play, practice. Every time you pick up the brush, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Have fun with it, guys. This is the kind of fluffy advice that usually comes at the end of these kind of videos, but I figured I'd put it first because it's the first thing that you should be doing. And what better place to practice than on the scrap paper that you've been hoarding away? Why not use the corpses of your botched masterpiece to practice the techniques that will help you to be better next time? So when I fail to complete a painting and give up on it because it's just not turning out, I like to chop it into little tiny bits and repurpose it as scrap paper. Whether I just want to experiment in my free time or if I'm in the middle of a painting and I want to see how a color looks or a technique will come out, I can practice it there and not ruin a big beautiful piece of paper. Because paper is essential to watercolor. Exhibit A. This is a Mary Doodles original circa 1999. So this was painted on computer printer paper. That's how I learned to make watercolors. While it's not the worst thing in the world, you might notice the paint is smeared across the page and the actual painting process is miserable. This is watercolor paper. It is engineered by the greatest scientists who rejected the ways of NASA and went deep underground to experiment on their passion of creating a newer and better watercolor paper. Worth the money. Treat yourself to some good paper. Two glasses. Water. Using two glasses has been a more recent development in my life and a game changer. Water is the vehicle that gets the paint onto the paper. Having clean, clear water is very important when you're painting with watercolor. I like to have a jar for the clean water and a jar for the dirty rinsing water. That way I can rinse my brushes before moving on to a new color and the colors will always be bright and pure. Mm. Coffee. This is actually coffee. T -t tape So as you're painting with watercolor, you're going to notice that even with the best watercolor paper, the water causes the paper to bend and mold and move. If this is bothersome to you, you can always tape your paper down around the edges. You can use a masking tape. There's also artist's tape available. This is pH neutral. It's not as rough when you're peeling the tape off the paper, but whatever works for you. There is also a technique where you stretch your watercolor paper, which is something that I haven't done since high school for reasons. I'm lazy. Are you laying down a new layer of paint and finding that the colors are bleeding together and blending against your will to make a vomity brown? Let it dry. Are your sharp edges turning fuzzy? Let it dry. Is your paper just now one big swamp of water and paint and probably your tears? Let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. If it's starting to get a little too chaotic, maybe it's time to step away and let it thoroughly dry out. Go get some tea, go for a walk. And that is the extent of my knowledge for the day. But if you have any tips that you'd like to share, go ahead and comment below. I'm on all the social medias at Mary Doodles. If you want to get more involved with what appears on this channel, if you want access to original creations from this here studio, you can go on to Patreon and become a supporter of this channel for the price of two cups of coffee a month, you can have access to the monthly live stream and you will receive original one-of-a-kind postcards from me. This me. Go to patreon.com slash marydoodles for all that goodness and thank you very much for watching Doodlebugs. Goodbye!